Why I Built the Boogle House by Helen Palmer with photographs by Lynn Feynman Narrated by me Someone gave me a turtle. It was just what I always wanted. A pet all my own. But then I said to myself, Where will I keep him? Where will he live? He must have a house. He must have a house all his own. So, I got a hammer, I got some wood, I got some nails, and I built a turtle house. I put the turtle in it. He seemed very happy. But the next day... My turtle was gone. He had run away. So there I was. There I was with a turtle house, but no turtle to live in it. What would I do with my house? Could some other kind of pet live in it? A duck could live in my house, I said to myself. A duck is a good pet. So I went down to the pond to look for a duck. I found a good one. I took him home. But do you know something? He did not fit in my turtle house. The house was too small. So, I got the hammer, more wood, and more nails. I fixed up the house. I made it bigger. Now the house was a duck house. I put my duck in it. But do you know what? That duck was a quacker. He quacked all day, he quacked all night. My mother said the duck must go. So, I swapped him. I swapped my duck for a kitten. But did you ever try to put a kitten in a duck house? It can't be done. A duck house is too small. So, I had to go to work again. I fixed up the house. I made it bigger. Now my house was a kitten house. I put my kitten in it. He looked mighty happy. But do you know what? That kitten ran away too. So there I was. There I was with my house. No kitten, no duck, no turtle, no pet at all. Then Elmer came by to give me a rabbit. I looked him all over. He looked just right to fit in my kitten house. But he didn't fit at all. I tried and tried to stuff him in. His back end was just too fat. So, I had to fix up the house again. Now it was a rabbit house. I put the rabbit in it. He looked mighty fine. But the rabbit made trouble. He got in my mother's garden. He gobbled up her flowers. My mother said the rabbit must go. So I swapped him. I swapped the rabbit for a dog. But did you ever try to put a dog in a rabbit house? Don't try it. It doesn't work. That dog did not fit. The rabbit house was much too small. So, who had to fix it up? I had to fix it up. Now my house was a dog house. The dog seemed happy. At last, I said, my troubles are over. But my troubles were not over. The dog would not sleep in his house. Every night he came into bed with me. 
Mother said he had fleas, and she gave him away. So there I was again. I had no pet at all, but I had trouble, lots of trouble. I picked up that doghouse. I took it away. I dumped it. No more houses. I was fed up. No more animals for me. About a week later, I went to Uncle Bert's farm. Uncle Bert has goats. Well, I began to think of pets again. I had to have a goat. I picked out a beauty. Uncle Bert said I could have her. I took her home. I got the doghouse back. But did you ever try to put a goat in a doghouse? You can't do it. A doghouse is too small. So, that old fixed up house had to be fixed again. What a job. It took me two days. At last, the house was done, and I put the goat in it. But then, do you know what? The goat knocked the house down. Then she jumped on top of it, and she went, Nah, nah, nah. I had to take her back to the farm. But when I was at the farm, I saw some horses. How I wanted one. I picked out a beauty. Uncle Bert said I could have him. I rode him home. I took a look at the house. What a mess. Well... I got some more wood, I got more nails, I got more of everything. How I worked. For four long days I sawed and I hammered. At last my house was done. At last my horse was in it. Now, I said to myself, all my troubles are over. But do you know what? A policeman came around. Boy, he said to me, what are you up to? You can't keep a horse here. It's against the law. Get him out of here right now. I had to take him back to the farm. So there I was again. I had fixed up that house for all kinds of pets. They had all made trouble, every one. Well, I thought about it a long, long time. Then I laughed. I said, I'll fix up my house for a new kind of pet. A kind of pet that will never make trouble. I'm going to fix up my house for a boogle. I don't quite know what a boogle is. But one of these days, I hope I'll find one. <laughs>